Big Travel Channel offers travel video guides for more than 20 cities in Asia, US, and Canada. If you like our travel videos, subscribe to this channel to see more. Hi everyone, welcome to Hip Figs Washington DC series. Today we're going to be talking about the National Mall and the Memorial Parks located in Washington DC. In this video, we'll share the most convenient way to get to the National Mall, what things for sure you need to see, and tips to make your visit easier. So keep watching to see the amazing National Mall and Memorial Parks. The most convenient way into DC is by the Metrorail system. It's affordable and you don't have to worry about parking. You can take the orange or blue line and depending on which end of the mall you want to start on, if you want to start at the east end where the Washington Monument is, get off at the Smithsonian stop. Or if you want to reach at the west end of the National Mall, get off at the Foggy Bottom stop. Once you're in the National Mall, to get from one end to another, you can take the DC Circulator Bus which goes around the National Mall area. The most iconic memorial parks on the National Mall area is the Lincoln Memorial. It anchors the National Mall on the west end. There are 36 huge columns and each column signifies a state in the United States at Lincoln's death. However, the funny side is that the states were increased by 48 by the time the monument was completed. Hey, don't forget to wear good walking shoes. There are 58 steps on the memorial and 87 steps from the memorial to the reflecting pool. Once you enter the memorial, you're welcomed by a 5.8 meter statue of Abraham Lincoln. On the north wall of the monument, you'll see his second inaugural speech right before the American Civil War. On the south wall of the monument, you will see his great speech, the Gettysburg Address. When you look at his inaugural speech, look for the word future. It was mistakenly carved as future, so they put an E instead of an F. Continuation of Abraham Lincoln's legacy. Martin Luther King made his I Have a Dream speech here on the steps in 1963. Near the Washington Memorial and the Reflection Pool is the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Wall. What's surprising is that there were no federal funds used to construct the wall. In fact, it was made by private contributions. The wall, as it's nicknamed, is about 500 feet of black granite. There are five names on each line, and most panels have about 137 lines of names. Visitors are able to trace the inscription with paper and take them home as a keepsake. The saddest fact is that more than half the people listed on the wall are under 22, and the largest age group is made up of 19-year-olds. A few steps away from the wall, and you'll also see the statue of the three servicemen. I suggest starting at the Vietnam War Memorial, then going to the Lincoln Monument, and then to the Korean War Veterans Memorial. The Korean War Veterans Memorial is made up of a circle and a triangle. The circle contains the Pool of Remembrance. The wall of the triangle are made up of 100 tons of highly uh, polished black granite. Within the walls are 19 stainless steel statues. Along the main wall, there are more than 2,500 photographic images that, that have been sandblasted onto the wall. Freedom is not free. This is an inscription inlaid in silver on a nearby granite wall. From here, you can walk to the National World War II Memorial, follow the signs, and stay on the path. The National World War II Memorial has a park ranger station where children can earn junior park ranger badges. The junior ranger program allows children to learn about the memorial parks and also allows them a nice keepsake for their visit. The memorial is made up of granite, bronze, and water. 
Each wall contains many famous quotes from various historical figures. There are sections which commemorate famous battles and military campaigns as well. The tall stones on either end of the memorial represents the Atlantic and Pacific victories. The 48 states during World War II and the several fe federal territories and District of Columbia are represented on the memorial with its own granite pillar and wreath. One of the newer additions to the National Mall, this circular shaped monument contains fountains in its center. It's an honor to the hundreds and millions of people who served, died, and helped support soldiers during World War II. From this memorial, you can walk to the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial, but you will have to walk across the street to, towards the Tidal Basin. The Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial is located on the Tidal Basin of the National Mall. This location is great since it's near the water, but especially in spring when the cherry blossoms are in bloom. The main feature of the memorial is called the Stone of Hope. It is a 30-foot likeness of Martin Luther King Jr. and is looking towards the Tidal Basin. There's a granite inscription wall that's about 450 feet long and it contains 14 of King's most memorable quotes. From this memorial, if you walk along the Tidal Basin pathway, you'll get to the Franklin Delano Roosevelt Memorial. The Roosevelt Memorial is located halfway between the Jefferson and Lincoln Memorial. It's made of red granite from South Dakota. The memorial consists of four galleries. Each of these galleries represent one term of the four terms that Roosevelt served as President of the United States. By the way, it is because of FDR's four terms that we have the two-term limit now in the United States. From the FDR Memorial, you can continue walking on the Tidal Basin Pathway to the Thomas Jefferson Memorial. The Thomas Jefferson Monument stands on the southern end of the National Mall and is placed in a direct line of the White House. Marble from about four different states was used in the Jefferson Memorial construction. The marble came from Missouri, Georgia, Tennessee, and Vermont. The dome of the monument is about 165 feet in diameter, and there are about 26 pillars. The Jefferson Memorial looks especially beautiful in spring when the cherry blossoms are in bloom. The irony is they had to cut a few of those cherry blossoms when they were constructing the memorial. Once you get inside, you're greeted with the bronze statue, which is about 19 feet tall, and I think it weighs about 10,000 pounds. The walls of the Jefferson Memorial contain words from his various writings, one of which is the Declaration of Independence. Mission is free to all these monuments, and they're open 24 hours a day. So make sure that you put it on your bucket list, especially if you're an American. Happy travels! Go to hipfig.com for more information or go to our HipFig Travel Channel on YouTube and be sure to subscribe for regular updates.